Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to um, put some bookmarks, uh, nest bookmarks, uh, for in a PDF for later use in uh, good read on the iPad. It makes a nice little outline. And here's an easy way to do it. Uh, you're going to need Acrobat uh, to do this. And if you have it, that's great. If not, I suggest you get it. If you're a lawyer out there without Acrobat, that's a bit strange. But here we go. All you have to do is here's a uh, treatise section that I, I got from Lexus. And I want, to, I want these sections to be the outline. So all you have to do is highlight it. And then the keyboard shortcut is Command B or Control B on a PC. You just go through and just highlight them and press that shortcut. If you want to do it the long way, you can highlight it and you can press the, you can click this button here. That'll do it as well, but that takes a little longer. Now. I'm not going to create a whole bunch of subsections on this, but to show you what it looks like in Goodreader, I will do a couple of them here once I get a section that has them. So that's all you do is you go through and do this, and let's see if we can get one here. All right, here we go. Section 15.09. So we'll take this and we'll say we'll make a bookmark out of format notice and number two and we'll put those in there and Acrobat will apply these bookmarks in the order you create them and not necessarily in the order that they are in the document and in this one of course they are because I'm doing it in the order of the document but here we have um, we'll do these sections here and that'll be done with that. Now to nest these things meaning to put them under so these all come under this section so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on this bookmark here and then click and hold you'll see that that, that uh, no action symbol, but then if you move it up, you'll see that it becomes a pointer, a little line there. That's where it's going to go. Now I'm going to start drag it up to the right and let it go. Now the first one you have to drag, and it's a little harder to do the first one, but after that you just kind of click and then pull it up and it'll go under there. And that's a nested bookmark. And then you can, you can twirl this closed and you can keep it open. Uh, you'll, see what, uh, you'll see the way uh, Goodreader deals with that. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, Oh, another thing I wanted to show you, of course, is when you're doing, when you, once you apply bookmarks to a PDF, it's nice to know that they're there when you open the document. Now, to do that, that's in the initial view, um, uh, preferences, it's the file, and then properties to get there. But what I do is I always, I always use the keyboard shortcut, which is uh, Command D or Control D on a PC. Initial view shows up. If it's not here on initial view, you can just go over to initial view. Usually it will be uh, there if you use it a lot, like I do. And then you just change it from page only to bookmarks panel and page panel, which is very handy. This is what I always do with um, when working with people. When I create bookmarks, I always make sure it opens up with bookmark, bookmark and page panel so that people don't have to guess whether or not we have bookmarks in the document by clicking on one of these uh, pages. Because as you'll see, you know, it will open up and not everyone things to go over here and I, I do it to myself all the time here and I forget to click the uh, bookmark pane but to have it open is a great thing. So I'm going to go through and finish this up and then I'm going to take some screenshots of the iPad in, uh, with Goodreader so you can see what it looks like. Thanks for watching.